black. Bonnie's in the back seat, eyes open wide. A trash truck hungry for trash, cheese and chops it into mash. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do this side hair. So, you know, he has a haircut it's, today. Yeah, I know. It'll it's actually so go high. up if we let it. It's so high though. It's I so know, high. I love it. They're pancakes. Oh. I just put sprinkles on them because they look like dessert. Jeez. Yeah, get it. Grucky, these are pancakes. Nummy, nummy. Okay. I saw someone on Instagram make pancakes into like little mini pancakes and they said their kid ate it so much easier. Of course, my kid likes them normal. Or I don't know if it was actually because I put sprinkles on them, but he is not eating them. So this is what I get for trying to be extra, huh? You just eat a spoonful of peanut butter. Awesome. If you guys have been following along for the last year or so, then you know we have gotten sick so many times. It has been so incredibly frustrating and I'm just over it. Towards the end of my pregnancy, I had told Nathaniel, I was like, okay, we need to figure this out because I'm sick of it. We're about to have a newborn. We cannot be sick all the time. We need to fix our gut. But if you guys don't know, I have a background in nutrition. That's what I went to ASU for. And so I knew that we needed to start in our gut in order to kind of just fix our immune system. I have heard so much about AG1 by Athletic Greens, and I was so curious to try it out because I love the simplicity of it. This nutritional drink has nine health products in one. And that was something that was super big for me is I didn't want to feel like I was just like eating pills. You know what I mean? Like I didn't want this like extensive routine. I'm a mom, as you guys know, I need something simple. And so I was was really turned on by the fact that this has so many nutrients in just one drink. If you guys don't know, AG1 is a nutritional drink that has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced nutrients. It supports your energy, your gut health, your focus, your immune system. There's so many different benefits that come from what is jam packed into this nutritional drink. AG1 is so easy and convenient. It's literally one scoop a day, every day, that's it. Which you guys know as a mom, I just love that simplicity. I personally like to take this first thing in the morning before I have my breakfast. That's just kind of where it fits into my daily routine. I love that I wake up and I'm doing something for myself because again, as a mom, you guys know that that can be super hard to kind of just like fit into your routine. So it makes me feel extra good knowing that I'm doing that. Now with all of this jam packed into one drink, you can understand why I would have been afraid to just think this drink like tastes horrible, but it is the best tasting nutritional drink that I have had. It has like a tropical kind of flavor to it. And I actually kind of find it pretty refreshing. Something else that's super cool is with your first purchase, they give you a free bottle of their vitamin D3 K2, which has extra immunity support, which you guys know, this is what I'm trying to just like kind of conquer with this. So when I found this product, I was just like, okay, that's it. That's done, we're doing it. Another really cool thing is they have travel packs, which actually next week we are headed to California. So we can just take these and it makes it super simple. I don't have to lug around this like huge jar and we don't have to sacrifice our health in the process. So if you guys want to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet, if you wanna have more energy, if you too don't wanna be sick anymore, I highly recommend checking out AG1 by Athletic Greens. If you guys click the link in my bio, you will get a one year supply of the vitamin D3 K2 plus five free travel packs for free with your first purchase. AG1 is available in the United States, Canada, the UK, and Europe. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I am going to finish drinking this and then I need to feed Echo. I actually want to give you guys an update on her because there's there's some really good things and some really hard things. So yeah, we're going to chat here in a sec. Good job, baby. Mama is so proud of you. 
Oh, I know. He's so proud of you. Good job, sis. Hi, sis. I know. Let's get you back to nap. You ain't talk to mama. You say hello. Hi. Yeah. Go on. Hi, sweet girl. Echo does not like wearing her bows. Like, there are some bows I put on her head and she freaks out instantly and then I take it off and she's fine. Not liking her bow, so we're just gonna go no bow. I wanted to give you guys a little update because I know I briefly talked about my nursing struggles in the last vlog, okay. but they unfortunately got worse after that video and they are getting better now. So I just wanna share as it's fresh in my mind like kind of how I got through a nursing strike. It seems like around two months for both my kids, this is the common thing is them to have a nursing strike where they just don't want to eat. They'll refuse it for as long as I'll let them basically. And it has been a very hard and just overwhelming last few days, but we are coming out on the other side. And so I wanted to share kind of how I got through it and how we are still continuing to breastfeed. So the biggest thing that I think helped me this time around was just being patient because I knew that this happened with Rocky and I knew that it eventually ended. Now, of course, that's easier said than done when you're trying to feed your baby and they're just like screaming at you. It did help. Um, so number one thing was just trying to stay calm and positive and not like be too hard on myself. I, of course, had moments where that wasn't the, the case and I just stressfully vented to my sister-in-law or I just kind of got really upset and talked to Nathaniel about it. But while I was feeding her, I tried my best to stay really calm and happy and not get frustrated because I feel like, like I always say, she feeds on my energy. And when I was doing that, she was getting frustrated too. But also too, another thing I did was I would just like wait 30 minutes to feed her. Even if it had been three hours, I noticed that if I would just stop trying and just try again in a little bit, that she would relatch in that sense, but my biggest problem that I was having with her is she was only feeding on one side and it wasn't particular to any side. If it was time to feed on this side, she would feed on that side and then literally gag when I would try and feed her on this side. And then three hours later, I'd feed her on this side and then she would gag on this side. It was so strange to me, but some things that I tried to do was because she wasn't nursing as much, like I'm not kidding you guys, it was like 20, maybe 30 minutes a day is all that she would stay like latched on to me, which of course is really, just kind of scary because you don't want your nursing supply to drop, but also like I wanted to make sure she was getting enough food. And so what I was doing was I was attaching the haka on the other side, which if you guys know, I haven't really been using the haka every single feed, but I did for the last few days. And if she wasn't eat, drinking from that side, I was at least like expressing the milk. And then I would try and give it to her in a bottle. And again, sometimes she would take it and sometimes she wouldn't, which made me just like think maybe she actually just was not hungry. And so that helped. But another thing I just had to make sure I was doing was just drinking as much water as possible just to keep up my supply. I truly feel like that's the main thing that affects it. And then of course, making sure I'm eating enough and that kind of thing. But yeah, if you guys are going through a nursing strike, just try and hold on to the fact that it will end. At least in my experience, it has. And um, I would also do the whole binky trick where I'd put the binky in her mouth and then my boob and then binky boob, that kind of thing. So that helped too. Also, if you have to give a bottle and kind of pump or give formula or whatever, just to get through it, just know like that's okay too. Just give yourself so much grace because holy crap, it is so hard and overwhelming and it's even harder when you have a toddler running around. Um, yeah, it just made it a whole nother thing. But on a positive note, last night I fed her at six and typically I would feed her again at like 7.38 just to top her off throughout the night. But she freaked out when I tried to feed her. She was so upset and she was exhausted looking. And so I just decided to lay her down. And you guys, she slept until 6.20 this morning. And she only slept that long because I woke her. Like she would have kept sleeping, but my boobs were so engorged. I was like, okay, I need to feed her. 12 hours. She is literally nine and a half weeks old and she went a full 12 hours which is amazing. So I'm hoping that that is our new normal. I'm hoping to get it to like a seven to seven. Although I do really like the 6 a.m. routine because it gets me up and then I can go to the gym after. Nathaniel helps till nine. So like it just kind of is good with our routine. As I mentioned already, we're going to California next week. So that is awesome to think that I potentially won't have to be like waking up early or throughout the night at all while on a vacation. 
um, which just makes a vacation more of a vacation, which is super exciting. So yeah, I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us for just continuing to figure it out. You got some spit up, huh? I am gonna get her down for a nap. I also had someone ask about her routine a little bit to help with the naps being longer. So my goal with her always is to feed every three hours. I try to keep her up for an hour after the feeding. And the biggest thing that I think helps extend the naps is having her fall asleep on her own. So I will swaddle her and then I lay her down. I turn on a sound machine. Um, we do not do dark rooms right now just because she doesn't really seem to need it. And um, I let her put herself to sleep. I will replace a binky if she's fussing, but I do not rock her to sleep. And so if she does wake up at that 30, 40 minute mark or just any time throughout the nap, she'll kind of just hang out for a bit and then she'll go back to sleep again too. So I think just having those good sleeping habits help a ton. And I've been doing it since like day one, so I think that helps. But just know if you haven't been doing it since day one, it doesn't mean that you can't get there. You'll just have to slowly rock them less and less and just kind of get to that point. But I feel like I'm spitting out word vomit right now because she's starting to get fussy but let me get her down and then i am gonna show you guys some stuff that i got for our vacation okay like i feel like i've said a thousand times in this video already we are going to california next week with my family we're doing a week-long vacation with my entire family if you guys don't know i am one of seven kids my parents are going my grandparents are going it's going to be such a good time i have been trying to get a few things so that way i can feel better on my trip i showed you guys some stuff last week in the last vlog uh, but i wanted to share what i picked up yesterday because i went to the mall with my sisters and i found this top at zara um, i mainly got this actually for like working out but then i also got a new pair of lulu aligns because my last two literally had two holes in them and have forever i've had those pairs for the longest time and i finally just was like you know what i need to purchase a new pair these were the other two colors i got this like sage color and then this tan color they were literally ten dollars so of course i got three because i liked the way they fit this is kind of a collective haul because i got those yesterday and i got this set like last week but this is actually from target i just love how cozy this is i also love that it buttons down so that way i can nurse easily but i'm having a really hard time finding jean shorts that fit me right now actually i can't find a single pair that fits my postpartum body and so i'm just going with like sets and dresses for this trip because i want to be comfortable and i want to feel cute and jeans are just like not doing it for me right now which i'm trying to stay positive but if i'm being honest it kind of sucks and it's really hard <laughs> Um, but I also got this hat. This is a little sun hat from H&M. I don't know how I'm gonna style it. I feel like it looks a little weird on me right now. But I got this for the beach because I don't have anything like this. This is the one I mentioned I got for Echo in the last vlog, the floral one. This is also from H&M and I truly think it's the cutest little bucket hat I've ever seen. I cannot wait to see her in this. She has a white suit and a pink suit and I just think it's gonna be so cute. I know it seems like I've been spending so much money lately and honestly, I kind of have. I mean, not a crazy amount, but way more than I normally do. I have not purchased clothes for myself in so freaking long that I literally just need to start over. So that's why I'm doing all of this. But I wanted to update because I know last week I was talking about budgeting and we still are budgeting, but we're like budgeting in certain areas, if that makes sense. And we did really good on our cash spend last week. We only spent 90 out of the $100. So we're gonna take that extra $10 and transfer it to this week and only pull out 90. So if you guys missed what I'm talking about, I'm basically just trying to put a limit on spending money on going out to eat, getting coffee and activities with Rocky. Say I take him to like a bounce place or like an indoor activity that costs money um, just so that we can rebuild our savings. But it seems kind of contradicting because I'm showing you guys a bunch of hauls, but I just wanted to say I am still doing that. It's just there's extra money we have set aside for like buying new clothes and stuff. So yeah, we're still trying to save and restore that savings because wow, so you guys, having kids is not cheap. This is the first time I have used the monitor for Echo. If you guys don't know, we have the Dr. Meter monitor and it hooks to two different cameras. So this is Rocky's right now. Clearly he's awake, so he's not in there. And then that is Echo's, which this is super cool. Like I said, it's the first time using it as like a dual monitor. And I'm definitely gonna be doing this more because a lot of times we're like running up and down the stairs to check on Echo or um, we just like move her room to room and she wakes up easily doing that. So I might actually 
put her back in here. I don't know why I didn't put her in here. I'm really excited about this though. It feels like we're at a different point of parenthood with two under two, which feels crazy. She's not gonna be a newborn anymore. Don't mind this. This is me beginning to pack for vacation, but I just wanted to give one more update. I feel like all I've been doing this vlog is updating, but there's a lot to chat about. I just wanted to comment on the whole like babysitting situation. It has gotten so much better. The boys are adjusting a lot better and it's just been easier. My mom actually came today because she is off of school right now. She works for a school, so they're on summer break. And she just came to like hang out with the boys and like help my sister a little bit. And of course, an extra hand like is always helpful. The only thing that's kind of hard is I can't really be where they are because I don't want them to like want me or like, I don't know. And I can't really like do work just where I normally do work. So I kind of have to plan it out a little bit, make sure I'm not like in the space they're in, which can be hard. But right now it is 10.45. I have about 45 more minutes until they're gonna leave. And so I'm gonna get some work done on my computer and I'm actually just gonna go sit in Nathaniel's office with him because it's a door that we can shut. My office downstairs is open so I can't even really use it, which we would love to put barn doors on it, but that's an expense we don't have money for right now. So. Yeah, I'm gonna run down there, get some work done. Where did she go? That was so nice. I wanted to show you. She by herself. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So do you feel like we're at a different point in like parenthood with her? Yes. Like that we can leave her and then like you just press this and then it's Rocky. Switch, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Isn't that so cool? It is so cool. <laughs> it's just so weird. Like I just feel like she's still like too so little. Tiny. I yeah. know. I you know. She's doing good. She did so good. Another thing is it's hard to eat when they're here because they're in like the living room kitchen area. So I just had to grab so many things and this homie. Wanted me to snag him some stuff too. <laughs> so yeah, I literally haven't even eaten yet and it's freaking 10.40, 10.50. That is not good. So I'm gonna eat, get some editing done, and hang out with you. We get to yeah, work together. Don't be too loud in here. <laughs> Catch. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground. What are you doing? You're lighting up the way I, I can see the road ahead of me. I, <laughs> I won't be stumbling in the dark. I rock. That's nasty. Your eyes are shining <laughs> at the stars. I've seen so many kids. <laughs> I was there until you saved me. I'm hoping you can hear me past everything, but this is Rocky's lunch. We're just doing something simple. Hummus, crackers, apple, and chicken nuggets. Apple! apple. Let me get your bib on, okay? Hi, Daddy. Yeah, bye, Kelsey. Bye, Mimi. Bye, Mimi. You say bye, Asher. Bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. <laughs> Bob? Brindley? She wasn't here. Daddy? Yeah, Kelsey was here. Who else? Daddy? Yeah, Kelsey. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, I need you to be so careful. Up and down, up and down. Do you need a drink now? Okay. Purple? Purple? Okay. Hey, crazy boy. Are you ready for bed? No. No. Good night, Rocky Troy. Hey, can Mama have a kiss? Mm. Thank you. I love you. Sweet dreams. You guys, Echo did so good. We're coming up on the two hours since she's gone down for a nap and I have not replaced a binky. Her binky's actually out and she's just asleep. Should not cry, should not fuss. I feel like having her in her own space where she doesn't like constantly hear the noise of everything made her nap so well because she doesn't normally nap like that well. I mean, some days are way better than others, but, and she definitely naps better than most babies, I will say that. Or at least than Rocky did. <laughs> I think this might be game changing and I think we're gonna start having her go into her room just so that she gets used to her crib and taking naps in her crib. But it's kind of sad because she's just like by herself the whole time. I remember feeling this way with Rocky and it made me feel sad because they nap so much. It just means they're by themselves so much. 
but I'm very proud of her. It is time to feed her. Let's hope this feeding goes well like the other two have today. I literally unswaddled her and have been talking in here and she just does not want to wake up. You sweet girl. Sis, I gotta feed you. Hi, sister girl. Hi. smiling now when I go to put it away. You got it, sis. I don't think I updated on Echo eating, but she ate really well again. Um, we didn't have any issues. It was just like normal, which was amazing. Hi, sis. She has about 15 more minutes before she needs to go back down. So I'm just gonna bag some milk and hang out with her. Whoa, you had the pinky in your hand. You crazy girl. see clear as day and I just wanted to say that you can take me high feels like I can fly you can take me high I know I'm probably so annoying, but it is so weird to see both my kids napping. And this monitor like switches back between the two uh, screens and then like the two sounds too, which is super cool. But yeah, it is just super freaking weird to see this. I have two kids, what the heck. It's almost three. We have a hair appointment for Rocky at four. Echo is supposed to eat at 3.30, but the place is about 15 minutes away. So I'm gonna try and feed her a little bit early just in case we have any hiccups. I can get out of the door by like 3.40. And so before the kids get up, I always try and do this. I try and make sure my bag is packed so that way I don't have to do that while um, they're both awake and just kind of needing me. So all I have to do is add diapers to the bag and then we're good to go. Echo is still doing super good. I swear I just put her down like five minutes ago, but it's been over an hour and she's asleep with no binky upstairs. She's just killing it. It's, it's too good today because now this is gonna be like my expectation and I know it's not always gonna be this way, but I'm very proud of her. Rocky is also awake. He is just laying and playing with his binkies. Nathaniel has the monitor right now, so that way I could just like focus on my work as well. And he just told me that Rocky was just saying up and down, up and down, just like saying that in the crib, playing with his binkies, just laying there. He's just doing so good. So very impressed with my kids today. It does not always look like this, don't be fooled, but it's been a good day for sure when it comes to sleep. Can you go get your shoes? Shoes and then bring them to the stairs, okay? Your brown ones. Brown. Okay. Yeah, good job, those ones. Can you find the other one? Bless you. <gasps> yeah, good job. Can you come sit on the stairs? Bobby, I'm so proud of you. Shoes. Okay. Oh, are you going to sit on the stairs? Got it. You want to sit one more higher? Okay. Here's a proper before of this kid's long hair. What are they going to do? They're gonna put Wawa on your hair? 
And they're gonna cut it and go bzzz on your head. Rocky, say echo. Gentle kisses, okay? Hi. Say echo. <laughs> Gentle, okay? Mama needs to feed her, okay? Then we'll go. That was a big bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, back up. Oh, you got it, you're good. Hey! Here is the after of Rocky's hair. I almost feel like I forgot what he looked like with a mohawk. You can spray yeah, that baby. Not spray echo your... though, okay? Yeah, not, you... not echo. Not echo. Okay, put it down, put it down. Good job. Can you give kisses? Tell her you got a haircut. Did you tell her? <laughs> I, know. I know you got a lot of hair on your bubby. I don't want to get it yeah. on there. Okay. So handsome, Rocky. Ice, yeah. <laughs> it fell did down. Did you tell that? I did, yeah. Ice. Good job, baby. Ice. Good job. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, wow. and the fridge. We are clearly back home, as you guys saw Rocky's haircut. They did super good. I did not film in there because it was just kind of chaotic. Chaotic in the sense that like there's a lot of people in there, not really that my kids are being chaotic. Rocky did really good sitting there and the girl is like super patient with him and just like gives him whatever he wants, which is so nice. And then Echo literally just was awake the whole time and she just like chilled in her car seat, so. I think the whole appointment took like 15 minutes. It was great. We are gonna get started on dinner. It's about five o'clock. Did we have turkey burgers in the last vlog? I don't know, maybe. We have it every week. Well, we didn't for a long time, and now we are. So we're gonna make turkey burgers. It's just easy and yummy to eat. Rocky's playing super good with his trains. He's literally taking every single one out. And Echo is back over there. We're trying to get her down for another nap. So yeah. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was there Until you set me free Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say There you go You can take me high Feels like I can fly. It is very hot. You can try it. It is so lovely. I want you to try kissing it. Mama. Safe to say, everyone enjoyed their meal. We just have the nectarine to try. <laughs> Bubby, can we eat it together? Look, Mama has some right here. Cheers. Can you cheers me? Cheers. 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 And then kiss it. Can you kiss it? Mm-hmm. Kiss it. Mm -hmm. Nummy. Nummy, nummy. Look at Dada. Do you like it? No. No? Okay. Mama will take it back then. You kiss it? Hi. Yeah, it's good, huh? Nummy. Nummy. Rocky, I'm so proud of you for trying it. Can Dad have a bite? <gasps> Thank you so Good much. Good job. Mmm. It's kind of worked out because Echo has been awake like since we got home. But I'm gonna feed her at like 6.20, 6.15, and then she's gonna go down for the night. So she'll have like a period of time where she was up for a while. So she should be pretty tired, although. This will be the first time doing like six to six, right? So we'll see. Well, for that. sure. We did it last night. I fed her at six, but then we put her to sleep at seven and right, she yeah. slept until 6.20. Okay. But I also, is there a smudge? Probably, that's okay. I also wanted to comment on the whole kissing thing. There's a OT that I follow on Instagram. She posted something about having your kid kiss the food to get them to try things that they don't wanna try. Um, I'm assuming because it like gets the taste on their mouth and like it's by their nose. And it just worked. It actually worked the other day for something else too. What was it? I can't remember either, but 
he did not want to try that nectarine and he just ate quite a bit of it so if you guys have a kid who doesn't want to eat something try it it is 6 36 the dishes are done the downstairs is picked up the kids are bathed 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 kids are Correct. bathed <laughs> Echo is nursed and she is asleep and Rocky is gonna go down at 7 so right now we are just playing in the playroom with him which is actually really nice to have her go down a little bit before Rocky because that allows us one-on-one -on -one time with Rocky which we haven't really had since having Echo but that is it for today's vlog I hope that you enjoyed <laughs> Awesome. I'm gonna get cleaned. Don't forget to check out AG1 by Athletic Greens. If you guys want to try their nutritional drink, you can click the link in my bio. You can get one year supply of their vitamin D3 K2 immune supporting drops as well as five free travel pack with your first purchase. So you guys don't want to miss that. I'll leave it down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Rocky say bye. <laughs>